The Capna Stream 35 portable respiratory monitor combines Nelcor pulse oximetry and microstream capnography technology to provide accurate SpO2, end tidal CO2 and respiration rate values with crisp waveform readings for a wide range of patients, from neonates to adults, whether intubated or non-intubated. To operate the Capna Stream 35 portable respiratory monitor, Connect the AC adapter to the 12 volt DC port on the monitor's right panel, attach the power cord to the AC adapter and plug the cord into an external power source. The battery power indicator on the front of the monitor indicates the battery and power status. The indicator is green when the monitor is connected to AC power and both the internal battery and the battery pack are fully charged. The indicator is orange when the monitor is connected to AC power and one or both batteries are currently being charged. Before you turn on the monitor, connect the Nelcor pulse oximetry sensor cable and or the patient-appropriate microstream capnography sampling line to the appropriate port on the monitor's side panels. To turn on the monitor, press the on-off button on the front panel. The display screen will light up. If the monitor is set to disable EMS mode, every time you turn on the monitor, you will see a prompt to clear trend memory. Press the enter button to continue monitoring the same patient. If you are monitoring a new patient and want to clear any information regarding the previous patient to avoid mix-ups, select yes and press enter. Having EMS mode enabled will take you directly to the home screen. Please note that while in EMS mode, existing data will automatically be cleared when you turn the monitor on and admit a new patient. For accurate respiration monitoring, it's important to properly classify your patient. The monitor recognizes five different patient types, but the default setting is for adult. To change the patient type, press the menu button on the front panel and use the directional arrows to navigate to the patient type drop-down menu in the top left corner of the screen. Using the up-down directional arrows, Select the appropriate patient type from the list and press Enter. If you are prompted to confirm, press Enter again. Each patient use should be recorded as a new patient case. To establish a patient case, press the Menu button and navigate to Actions, Patient Admit. The monitor will automatically generate a patient ID number, which you may change to suit your unit or facility. Next, input your patient data and then navigate to and press the Start Case button on the left side of the screen. A window will notify you that a case has been started, and the button will now read Stop Case. When a case is complete, navigate to this same window and press the Stop Case button. It's often useful to have a record of patient events, such as taking medication, patient activity, or clinical interventions that may have influenced recorded measurements. To add patient events to the record, press the Menu button, and navigate to Actions, Events, or press and hold the Menu button to arrive at the Events screen. Press Enter and the Medication screen will appear. Select the medication and press Enter. Additional event options appear to the left of the screen, including Text Entry, PACO2, Patient and Intervention. You can use the Text Entry option to add up to 20 characters of text, plus the date and time of the event. After recording the event or events, press Enter to return to the home screen. If you decide not to input event data, press the Back or Home buttons to return to the home screen. If no screen options are selected for 60 seconds, the monitor will automatically return to the home screen. The monitor features a pump off mode. Use this mode whenever performing suction or lavage. During pump off mode, pump activity is suspended to protect the monitor from drawing liquids and causing a malfunction. SpO2 monitoring continues as usual when in pump-off mode. To place the monitor in pump-off mode, it must be actively monitoring CO2. Press the Menu button and navigate to Actions, Pump-off, and press Enter. The default pump-off time period is 15 minutes, and time remaining will be displayed in the Message and CO2 areas of the screen. You can turn the CO2 pump back on before time has expired by pressing the menu button, navigating to pump off, exit now, and pressing enter. Or you can extend the pump off time period for another 15 minutes by pressing the menu button, navigating to extend timer, and pressing enter. For accurate, reliable Nelcor pulse oximetry and microstream capnography measurements, you can count on Medtronic patient monitoring technologies.
For more information about the technologies built into the Capna Stream 35 portable respiratory monitor, please visit medtronic.com forward slash covidian forward slash products.